guys, welcome again to another technical video from AA Silencers. Uh, this particular one is referenced to a Mitsubishi Shogun vehicle with us today. It's a 3.2 DID model. Uh, it's actually in for a boost loss. Um, the customer had issues where he's thinking it's the turbo, uh, dropping out under load, etc. Now these 3.2 DIDs are very prone to blocking the intake manifold with carbon. What it affects is, this unit here, on the end of my finger, is your boost pressure sensor. And as you can see, it goes down on a hose and then onto a metal section of pipe down the back, which goes through a port into the intake manifold. And they just simply block. And then it can't work out what the boost pressure is and flags a turbo fault. Now, once we've got the covers off, one of the first things we have to take off is the EGR valve. Now, this looks relatively new, but in fairness, we've cleaned it up anyway with the tune up 926, there's no point in putting that back dirty, is there? We're now at a stage where we've stripped off the EGR, the throttle, and we've actually taken off the, the upper section of intake. And this gives you an idea of the sort of state that we're into. And when we flick to the, the upper section of intake, you can clearly see there how badly contaminated with carbon that is. So what we're going to do now, we've scraped the carbon out of the upper intake and we're going to treat it with the TuneUp 925 system and let the X-Foam technology do its job and clean it out for us. As you can see now, we are completely stripped, all the intakes off. Uh, all we've got left to do is just check the glow plugs just in case while we're here. Let me just drop you into there. You can see all the carbon build up in the chambers. Then in a few minutes, we're going to clean that out. Over, in here, over here on our bench now, we have the intake manifold and what I've done is we've just taken the, uh, the pins out so we can split the two halves and if we just take this section off, this is the reason why we're not running correctly. That little piece there is where your boost pressure sensor goes onto and the back end is completely blocked. No way on earth that can run correctly. So what we got now, we're in a situation where we've uh, scraped out as much of the excess carbon as we can. And we're gonna now apply the tune-up 925 treatment to basically take out what's left. And these are the results. Now we're all cleaned out. That's gonna breathe a substantial amount better. You can actually see now the, uh, the swirl flaps built into the manifold there, um, as well as obviously where the boost pressure unit comes out. You can actually see now that uh, that goes straight through into the manifold. We've got a full set of genuine Mitsubishi gaskets. We'll get this rebuilt, get the codes cleared and get it up the road. Make sure it's all good for the customer.